Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to go over some recording basics. And the first kind of recording we're going to go over is going to be capturing video. Now anytime you do a screen share video, you can actually add in your image or your talking head video of yourself. And you do that by using this feature, which is your webcam or your camera that's set up with Camtasia. Now what you'll need to do is you'll need to take the drop down arrow and you'll need to choose one of these webcams and once you do that then you'll be able to record your webcam along with the PowerPoint or along with the screen share video. Now what you can also do is you can also do a talking head video that's video of yourself speaking into the camera with this feature. So either way, whether or not you want to add the video into the picture with your information or you just want to take the video by yourself, you can do that. So the first thing that we need to do is to choose the camera. Now we choose the camera. The camera will automatically then be turned on for use with your recording toolbar. So we're going to choose in this particular case, this webcam, the Logitech webcam C930E you may have a different webcam or you may have a webcam that is fixed with your PC. Either way, choose the webcam and then your webcam will be turned on. Now you're going to notice even though the image is blurred out that you have an image that is there and that is the image that you are capturing. It's a sample of the catch and if you hover over that image you will then be able to see exactly what's going to be captured. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to click the record button and we're going to start capturing video. We're not looking to do screen share video. We're not necessarily looking to do PowerPoint video. We're looking to capture the talking head video, which is video of ourself speaking into the camera. And you can do that with Camtasia 9. So let's go ahead and click the record button. Again, this appears here because we're using two instances of Camtasia to record each other. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then the countdown will begin. Now you'll notice that the Camtasia camera is hidden. It's in the toolbar. We can hover over it so that we can see where it is. And we are capturing the video as we're talking into the camera. And what's going to happen right now is that we're going to stop this video and then we're going to start the edit process. So we're going to go to this area and typically what you would do is you would hit the F10 button but in this particular case because we're using two instances of Camtasia you can't do that and what we'll need to do is we'll need to physically stop the video. So we're going to pull up the player and we're going to hit the stop button. When that happens, you're going to notice two things. You're going to notice that we have the screen that you were watching. We also have here in the corner, we have the video that we were shooting, which is the talking head video. We also have two videos in the timeline. We have on track two, the talking head video, and we have the screen here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to get rid of the screen. So we're going to highlight this and then we're going to click delete. So now all we really have is the black background. Now what we can do right now is we can now bring this image into the center of the canvas and then expand it so that it can be seen. Okay, so now we have our video. Remember, we can control the size and scale of the video in the properties area here on the right hand side but we have captured the video where it is. Now, if we want to make enhancements like annotations and transitions and behaviors, we can do that with this video. And we can tell exactly what's going to happen in the video by dragging the timeline. So for example, if what we want to do is we want to add some words and we want to add something on this top corner here, we could do that. And we could do that by going to the annotations area and by dragging this into the timeline or into the circle. 
and then sizing it down. We can determine how long we want it to appear in the timeline. And if we don't like it, we can just take it out. So any of the videos that we have been using as enhancements, annotations, behaviors, animations, or transitions, we can add into this talking head video. Remember, if we want to do an effect like having this video appear off to the right, we can use the animations element. We use the tilt right or the tilt left, and we can do anything with this particular part of the video that we actually want, and all we need to do is to drag the element into the timeline with the actual video, or in the case of annotations, we can drag the element on top of the video on a different track. Now remember, in rendering the video, if we want to produce a local file or an MP4, we can do that here. If we want to have interactivity online, but we don't want to host that interactivity and host the video, we can send it to screencast.com. If we want to have the MP4 without any of the interactivity, we can put it on Vimeo, YouTube, or Google Drive, or we can create our own smart player using either custom production or the local or the local file feature. Okay, so those are the basics of capturing video inside of Camtasia, and you can actually size this video however you want inside of the canvas, however you want it to appear. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.